As of April 2021, the Department of Defense has been working on 685 projects which are deeply invested in the development of artificial intelligence. Their budget, mainly in the Joint AI Center, has increased dramatically from $89 million in 2019 to $278 million in 2021. Clearly, the DoD is very much invested into the research and development of AI and using this technology throughout the US Armed Forces. But what are their aims? What do they plan on doing with such technology? And what are some of the potential impacts of this? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Global Network. Please support us by clicking the like button and subscribing to our social media accounts to stay up to date with our content. If you want to go further, consider joining our organization by visiting our website, spaceforpeace.org. Between the years of 2019 and 2021, the DoD has spent over $610 million on AI projects. The DoD wants to eventually use more AI in warfighting capabilities, mainly within the following fields. Analyzing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance information. Fusing data to provide a common operating picture on the battlefield. Supporting semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicles operating lethal autonomous weapon systems. To date, AI technologies have been used by the DoD mainly for intelligence analyses, enhancing weapon platforms like on aircraft and ships, and making recommendations on battlefield tactics such as where to move troops. But eventually, the DoD wants the AI to have the capability to identify targets and make autonomous decisions to take out those targets. Here's the problem. Even if humans, like infantry soldiers on the battlefield, make huge mistakes where instead of gathering enemy targets to capture or kill, they actually end up gathering innocent civilians to shoot and kill. On top of that, there is very little accountability for their actions. The hundreds of thousands of people killed in the wars on global terrorism have resulted in US soldiers killing innocent civilians. And we rarely see soldiers, let alone their commanders, have accountability for their actions. These events have occurred anywhere from infantrymen murdering innocent civilians at point blank, all the way to drone pilots dropping bombs on weddings. And now the DOD is investing more and more money into AI projects with the goal of replacing infantry and unmanned drones with AI software and weaponized robots. Now, a quick note on two distinctions. One, with automation that completes human tasks, the other with autonomy completing human intent. Now, mainly in the global north, where capitalism is more advanced as an economic system, we have many technologies which already automate human tasks. The blender cuts and mixes our food automatically with the press of a button. A toaster heats up and toasts our bread. These machines automate human tasks. Now, completing a human task is something very different from making autonomous decisions, which is developing human intent. This is where autonomy goes a step further than automation. With the kitchen blender and toaster, they automate specific tasks to help relieve some labor involved with prepping and cooking food. These items do not have the ability to complete human intent. It is this very difference where the DoD is investing in AI software and technologies. They want technologies that can complete human intent, meaning they want artificial intelligence to make decisions. Not only that, they want AI to make decisions faster than humans can make decisions. In a podcast called Flight Pilot Podcasts, retired U.S. Army Colonel Brad Boyd said the following about autonomy. Autonomy is not new. We already have human autonomy that's been around since there's been warfare. And human autonomy has its own risks associated with it. Let's say, for infantrymen, we love having our soldiers go out and we basically give them an intent 
and they go out and try to solve the tactical problem. But sometimes, you know what? Sometimes they round up a bunch of civilians and murder them. There's a lot to unpack there, and it's just a small quote from a larger conversation in an hour-long episode of a podcast. Regardless, for someone with such a high rank as a colonel, just casually acknowledging the fact that infantrymen round up a bunch of civilians and murder them says a lot about the decadence of the U.S. Armed Forces. So much decadence that rounding up civilians and murdering them is completely normalized. In addition, the colonel implies that civilians being murdered on the battlefield is so normal, why not have AI do it as well? Without digressing, I'll just mention that there are militaries from different countries that do make an extra effort to avoid harming civilians on the battlefield. Just because the US Armed Forces do it on a normalized basis does not mean that every military does the same. Now, back to the focus of this video, using artificial intelligence on the battlefield in the near future. The US Army is in the process of developing an AI software prototype which will be made to identify so-called threats through a range of battlefield data and satellite imagery. One of these machine learning capabilities is through a program called Prometheus. It's designed to recognize potential threats and provide targeting coordinates through a rapid analysis of intelligence information. In a nutshell, alongside the typical US Armed Forces infrastructure in a combat zone, there might one day be an AI program right there, helping to identify enemy targets and eventually making the autonomous decision to shoot to kill that target. At first, the AI will provide the information which identifies targets, following soldiers to double check on that information. But eventually, and this is really the goal, is to just have the AI identify targets on their own and to make decisions on how to deal with that target, meaning whether to kill the target or not to kill the target. After all, this is human intent on the battlefield right now. If you haven't been suspicious of this so far, let's briefly talk about why this may be questionable. The US has been at war virtually its entire existence since 1776. Year in and year out, almost every year the US has existed, it's been involved with a military combat situation somewhere around the world. From committing genocide against indigenous people to the westward expansion that continued from the Caribbean to East Asia, to the two world wars, to the Korean, Vietnam, and Cold War, to the interventions of Iran, Guatemala, Panama, Yugoslavia, to the wars since 9-11. The US is one giant war machine. In every single conflict, a huge number of innocent people are killed or harmed, and sometimes they are the targets. We're talking about 250 years of war. Mistake after mistake. Now, robots are going to potentially make these decisions faster? Are interventions by the US going to increase as well? The devastation from a decision like this has massive implications, especially for the working people of both the US and the world, as they are the number one victims of oppression of the US armed forces. The main reason why the Pentagon wants to develop AI technologies is to make decisions faster than humanly possible. They think that this will solve their problems on the battlefield. But as new technologies develop, new risks and new problems develop along with it. On top of all this, we need to note that many new developments in technology, warfare, and so on, usually almost always end up in the hands of police forces and other agencies throughout the country and are used against the working class here in the US. In a previous Global Network video, Origins of the State Surveillance Industry, we described how the US military developed surveillance technologies and policies that were later implemented into the overall US state apparatus, where state agencies like the FBI and local police departments use these technologies on poor working people, especially activists and organizers, from progressives to labor organizers to anarchists and communists. If artificial intelligence is developed to identify targets, 
what would happen when police forces begin using AI to identify so-called criminals? Human police officers are already disproportionately targeting and killing innocent black and brown people. Black and brown people have higher rates of being targeted by authoritative institutions like the police, prisons, and courts as being a threat to society. What happens when robots begin doing the same? I'm sure we can imagine how the racist policies of all US institutions will only become amplified if artificial intelligence becomes the authoritative decision maker to identify so-called targets. With everything stated so far, artificial intelligence isn't a danger by itself. Technology itself is not the danger. The danger lies in who controls this technology, the capitalist class or the working class. If the capitalist class controls powerful technologies like artificial intelligence, these technologies will serve their interests, which is capital accumulation, control of markets, and power over everything, and they'll destroy anything and anyone that gets in their way. If the working class controls these technologies, it will serve their interests, which would be to redistribute wealth, to provide a decent standard of living for the vast majority of the world, to clean the environment, and develop sustainable practices for both human societies and the planet we depend upon. The global network has been active in opposing technological developments for the interests of imperialist warfare. Please consider visiting our website at spaceforpeace.org, follow us on social media, or even join our organization to help prevent more imperialist wars of aggression and to build a sustainable world for all.